Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, I'm back for, I think this is day 14 of Amberlynn uploading every day for 15 days. Get excited, get into it, be thrilled, we're almost done, we're almost done. And I really do stand by what I said at the end of my second video that I posted yesterday, which is just that like, I don't know that she really needed to post 15 days in a row. Very thrilled that she's sticking to what she told us she would do. But I think it's clear that right now, like, her state of mind is not one where, you know, she has anything new, interesting, or helpful to add to the to the library, <laughs> okay? And it seems like she should maybe be doing some stuff off camera, working through some stuff. So, today's plan of agenda is we are going to give you a brief update on Rafe coming back to YouTube because she has now officially posted. I brought Rafe up a couple weeks ago and how she said she was going to come back to YouTube. She now has made a video, so I'm going to briefly talk about that. And then we'll get into today's reaction of the latest video that she has uploaded. And of course, I'll put timestamps down below so you can skip ahead to whatever you want to watch on my channel the most. All right. Okay, we good, we, we on the same page. So the Rafe update should be relatively quick. She did post a video on her channel and it really is mostly just like a, I guess a reintroduction for anybody who might not know Rafe as a person. Uh, to be honest, she doesn't really talk all that much about Amberlynn and there is one part, one part where she alludes to some of like the negative backlash she has received in the past on the internet and on social media as a result of her previous relationship and involvement with Amberlynn Reed. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Because it doesn't matter. No. It has nothing to do with now. It doesn't. It, it was years ago. Yeah. And that person isn't in our lives anymore. At all. No. But, um, things still remain. The fear, the anxiety, the outright terror that I feel sometimes just <laughs> even logging on to social media platforms because I never know who's going to message me. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I think I am okay with her mentioning all of that and stuff as long as she really does commit to, like, not talking about Amberlynn further. Uh, I can imagine being Amberlynn's friend and involved in Amberlynn's channel in any kind of way is not easy. I know a lot of what she did in terms of her own involvement in Amberlynn's channel was her own choice. <laughs> a lot a lot of the ways that she involved herself in that drama and that mess was her own choice outside of Amberlynn. Um, but I think we all know, like, Amberlynn is probably not a great friend or not a easy person to be around. And... Also, Rafe is one of Becky's close friends, or was one of Becky's close friends at the time. I have no idea what the status of their relationship is now. And I think we also all know, at least from what Becky has shared, is that Becky had didn't have a great experience with Amberlynn and that it put her through a lot. So, just lots of things to consider, evaluate. Overall, it seemed like the video itself was mostly about Rafe and Hannah's journey to get healthy and they also listed out like every medical issue they've ever had and things like that. If that's something of interest to you, definitely encourage you to go watch it. It's not something though that I'm gonna talk at length about here and probably won't really bring up Rafe unless Rafe brings up Amberlynn or I guess is just like cringy like to the nth degree and it feels like something worth talking about. I'll also note that this morning, Rafe also posted a community tab post that I feel like 
also, you know, addresses Amber Lynn to some extent, so let me share that at least with you as well. It has three points, the first point being that she wanted to say thank you for all the positive comments. There's a second point that seems to have been written specifically by Hannah about stuff that Hannah's going through. You can read that in your own time. And then a uh, third point saying, I'm curious if you guys would want a sit down Q&A, a kind of getting to know us. If so, put your questions in the comments. And then PSA, all questions about she who shall not be named will not be answered, so don't waste your time writing them. And that's signed with an H, which I assume means Hannah wrote that part. And so it seems like they really are not trying to have anything to do with Amber Lynn. And I would be like, well, why are you even bringing it up to begin with? But I'm sure people are asking about Amberlynn, and so they're just trying to set some boundaries of like, this is not what we're gonna do. So I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I think like, who's gonna really care about a Q&A outside of anything that they might add about Amberlynn? I think they need to realize that if they really wanna build like an authentic, genuine audience, then they're really just gonna have to show stuff about their own lives. Like, what what am I supposed to ask you about that's not about Amber Lynn based on the one video that you posted <laughs> on the on the internet at this point? I think honestly the best way for us to get to know y'all as YouTubers is for y'all to just show yourself doing stuff on YouTube, you know? I don't know. That's just my thoughts. But anyways, that's the very, very very quick update about Rafe and Rafe's YouTube channel. So that brings us to today's reaction to Miss Amberlynn Reed. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is her 14th video of 15 days of uploading. So it sounds like she should have one more video coming out, I guess, today. Um, when you're watching this, there will probably be a new video. Uh, but... In the meantime, between time, this video is called... Uh, <laughs> My mukbang era is back. Food fixations and I'm losing my mind. Bar vlog. And I will say, despite, like, you know, the back and forth about whether or not she's doing an eat with me or just showing herself eating a couple bites of her meals or this, that, the other... I do think she's been relatively consistent in the past couple of years, at least during the wifey era, if not part of like when she was still with Becky, but she's been pretty consistent about saying that mukbangs are not actually good for her. And you know, if she was really hurting for money, she would just go back to doing mukbangs because she makes a lot of money doing mukbangs, in the past at least. And I think there's just a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things to unpack. I also feel like this very easily could be clickbait. As we know, yesterday she literally posted a video that was her thinking about quitting YouTube, which I guess technically she thought about it and ultimately decided not to, but you know, the, the intention was to get people to click to see if she was quitting YouTube. You feel me? You feel me now? All right, so that's, that's where we're at going into this video. That's where my thoughts are. That's where my mind is. So let's just get to get to, shall we? Hello, hello, you guys. Hi. Welcome to a new vlog. And here we are. Oh, my God. We're on day 14. Oh, oh. my God. Wait, how is it already day 14? Because day 15 is the third, and no more daily uploads from yours Ugh. truly. I, I don't know how I... Let me not, let me not clap over her. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm, and that's not because, you know, I, I'm here for all the episodes of Amber Lynn, the good episodes, the bad episodes, the whoever, whatever, before she's like, oh, if you don't like it, why, why are you still watching? Because I, I never miss an episode of my favorite shows, even the bad ones, okay? But I do think she needs to take a break and kind of recollect herself and figure out what, what we're going to do differently to, to bring something new to these videos, you know? <laughs> I, do, I do think that... I do think that we need to do that. Oh, I did it. So I think what I'm gonna start doing, because I'm like, this is like working really well for me, is I'm is going it? to like constantly have a new schedule 
but it's only it's gonna be like in a timely manner so i'm gonna like let you guys know what it is what to expect for this time frame and then after that time frame i'm gonna switch it up and give you something else <laughs> because i noticed that i get bored that's like with every day of my life the, i'm just a bored little individual the per the perfect business brand model just just keep it switching it up so so people don't know what to expect per perfect perfect brand model uh business model what could go wrong <laughs> what could go wrong i get tired of things i like a good switch it up type of moment mm, so mm -hmm. me too i'm burst yeah i definitely think that that is what i'm going to be doing from this point forward so as of right now all y'all need to know is it's the daily uploading 15 days until august 3rd she said all you need to know right now expect the unexpected girl what am i on big brother right now i'm not <laughs> Thank God, because if I was on this season, Sari Fields would be steamrolling my ass out of the competition. But girl, I'm not on Big Brother. I don't want to expect the unexpected. I want to expect the expected. I want to know what to plan for. So cool. That's work related. But now let's talk more like weight loss related. Oh, I kind of want to like God. set a goal where I want to count calories on Lose <laughs> It for a certain amount of days. Like even if I go over calories or uh -huh. even if it's a moment in time where I don't normally count my calories and it's a moment where I'm like, oh, I'll just like not worry about that. Like I really want to focus more on like the act of calorie counting because it's so overwhelming for me and like I hate it, like low key. So I want to <laughs> give myself like a little challenge of like, okay, I have to do this for a certain amount of days. So I think now here's the thing, here's the thing. She has come a long way when it comes to doing challenges surrounded surrounding her posting on YouTube, right? Like, she used to always say, like, I'm gonna post for 100 days. I'm gonna post for whoever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And she would never, she would never complete that. She has come a long way with sticking to a YouTube schedule. I will give her that. She really has. But to think that that same energy could be applied to what she's trying to do over here, with her, her weight loss when she's never stuck to one of those challenges, not once, not never. I'm actually honestly kind of surprised that she's still even in this lose it mind frame. We, I know we just, we just started it yesterday, but if it's anything like the Weight Watchers, I don't anticipate it lasting for long right now. I think I'm just gonna start low key and probably do like 10 days of that. No, it's not gonna be like a, a vlogging journey, like sure. watch me count calories for 10 days, no. Um, sure, I'll give an update here and there, but this is more so just like personal and I'm just like vocalizing it. But today's actually August 1st. Like, I love a new month. Um, uh, it's very bittersweet right it, now for me because normally a new month I'm like... It is, it is true. She has always enjoyed a new month, a new week, because she often ties new beginnings to that. And you know, you know if you've watched Amberlynn long enough, that she loves a plan and she always centers those plans around a new month, a new week, a new year, whatever the, the new thing is. If it's easy to tie something new to it, she, she'll tie a, a weight loss journey, a YouTube schedule, a whoever, whatever to it. So she, she does love a new everything. Yay, like I love that, new goals for start, blah, blah, blah. But I see it as, oh, this is one of the last months that Fleen and I will be living oh, together. Oh, for like, I for, hate that. Like, for fuck's sake. Move on. I, I say that from, like, a loving place. You have got to rip this Band-Aid off, girl. I don't know how many more months we got, but if, if it's more than one, then I don't know why you're feeling so sentimental about it. <laughs> if it's more than one. And, in fact, you just suggested that it is because you said it's one of the last months. Okay, so it sounds like you still have many more months at this point, girl. Please. Please be fucking serious. My soul hates that. My aura hates that. My energy hates that. I hate Same. that. Everything about me hates that. Mm. Like, uh huh. Every single part of me, like mentally, emotionally, physically, like this breakup has been the worst freaking breakup I have ever been through in the sense of like. You know, I would put some level of merit in that if you haven't said that about every breakup I've ever watched you go through. <laughs> I would, I would, 
I would put some level of merit into that, but every time you break up with somebody, it's the worst fucking breakup you've ever been through in your life. Girl, I swear the fuck to God. How much it has hurt me. Like, in the past with my breakups, like, obviously I am in pain and I am hurting because I'm losing someone that I am love, that I care about, mm -hmm. that I've been with. So all my heartbreak has hurt, obviously, because it's sure. considered heartbreak. Because that I love people, and I love people hard. That is I, I love people, and y'all don't understand loving people like I love people. Just what I do. But Feline is the most passionate relationship I've ever been in. So I feel like... Are we gonna... Are we gonna... Is she about to... Is she about to remind us about... <laughs> About how how fire that pussy was. <laughs> Cause I can't do that again. I can't. And the last time I feel like she was talking about how passionate her relationship with wifey was, I feel like that's the road we went down. Passionate relationship, like when it hits an end, that shit hurts. It like sets my body on fire. Like it hurts so bad. <laughs> I'm telling you, her body's on fire. Listen, all parts of her body are on fire these days. She's her brain's on fire from from that processed food she's eating and and that that kitty cat <laughs> is burning alive. <laughs> and it's like I I feel bad for a lot of the people who are watching because this is breakup era and it's gonna be like that for months. <laughs> like, I this is so weird. I, I don't, know. I don't understand why it has to be that way for months. I really, really doubt. And if, if again, if I had a friend, any of my friends that I could think of that I spend a significant amount of time with, and they were sitting and wallowing inside their home for months over a breakup, I would literally go over to them and yell, snap out of it! <laughs> because it's... You gotta go on. And that's not to say you can't keep feeling some kind of sadness about it. You you can go do other things. Let's get to get to. This is why your views are going to be hurting soon. Because people don't want to keep tuning into you just sitting here talking about a breakup. That at this point, that at this point happened a month ago. Approximately a month ago, okay? Like, we get it. I think we can all relate to, like, the sadness and loss over an ended relationship, over a relationship that's not there anymore, even if you don't feel that way over somebody you've dated. Maybe you feel that way about a lost friendship, um, maybe, like, a, a bad relationship with somebody in your family. I think we can relate to that. I think that's relatable for sure. I think the part that that you're missing is it's not relatable for the rest of us because we don't get to just sit in our home and, and, and sit in that sadness for months. I, I just want the best for you, bestie. I, I know you probably don't believe that. I know for a fact you don't believe that. But I'm just saying, like, I want more for you. I think a lot of people would like more for you. A lot of people would love to see you, you know like working through this, healing from this. And I think it's possible, but I haven't seen it. I get it, but like we're doing currently like what makes sense to us. And I understand that from an outside perspective, it looks weird and confusing because even to me, I'm like, okay, this is like probably so weird and confusing to so many people. Like I get that. Like truly, we're just trying to take it one day at a time while also trying to reach that deadline because we do know when we're moving and it's- okay. It's coming up. It's coming around the bend. It's coming <laughs> so much sooner than I wanted to, to be honest. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a I just, bit of I just don't understand. I don't understand why you couldn't. I, I get, listen, as much as I said, like, you, you need to just get out of there, break your lease, do whatever you got to do to break your lease. I get also the, the reason behind needing to stay in it. That doesn't mean you can't move forward. And, and in fact, like, that's the reason why I'm suggesting that you do break the lease or something because it's clear that you have no ability to move forward while Feline is still under the same roof as you. Of the editing process. So here is a grocery haul from... I also don't need to see editing Lynn. <laughs> there's not there's not shit about her editing process that I can learn anything from. Girl, please. Also, this little grocery haul that she's showing was so boring. The vlog that you guys saw yesterday. And I just want to show you, like, how it looks. Because a lot of people think that I just, like throw a video in iMovie and then call it a day and then that's the end of it. I promise. Uh-huh. No. 
I take that a lot and that's pretty much the gist of like what vloggers do um especially <laughs> just like a lifestyle vlogger you know I I I hate that she's acting like other vloggers do it like she does cuz uh, no <laughs> Like, she, a lot of vloggers do more than this, Amberlynn. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, if you want to start comparing yourself to other vloggers, I'll tell you, you're wrong. People do more than what you do. You're, you're cutting out pauses. You're cutting out dead, dead air silence. Oh, that's so hard. What a hardworking lady. This is how it goes. I got a jar of salsa. I got some of these, like... Think protein bars. They're 150 calories with 10 protein. Riveting. Uh, I'm right here. I can already tell. Let me turn this back a little bit. I'm going to edit out this part. So much editing. Oh my god, this is so hard. What are you trying to, who are you trying to prove something to and what are you trying to prove? What is the point of this? This is not interesting. Why would you include this in a video? <laughs> Why would you include this? Because you're not, like, if, if you want to convince me that you're doing a lot of work, it's, it's yet to work. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm very, very, very much unconvinced. Wow. Hi, got some more mustard. Already know I'm gonna edit out this. Oh wow, she's so good at this. Well, you know why? I'm gonna take back everything I said. I could learn so much from Amber Lynn Reed when it comes to editing. I'm not even doing it on my phone. It's clear I'm missing out on something. <laughs> what? So it's a lot of this. Like <laughs> this takes me hours. I some hours. Uh, sponges for the dishes. So I got some of those. Which I don't mind. Like I do love editing. I feel like I've tried to explain that before. I feel like your time could be used better. <laughs> I feel like your time could be used better. You are wasting too much time on this, bestie. Um, but every clip takes a long time. Those. I got some light mayo because I want to make some tuna salad. I got some Dawn dish soap. Soap. So I just keep doing this. The thing is, the thing is, is that if she did this, like if she could teach herself how to use literally anything on a computer <laughs> to do this, even even iMovie on her MacBook would be more efficient in this because you can be so much more precise in terms of like where you're cutting the, the clip at. Uh, but even if she, yeah, even if she just used iMovie on the MacBook, because I have used that in the past. I, these days I use Adobe Premiere Pro. But even if she learned to do that, she could be more precise and it would go so much quicker because she wouldn't have to constantly be going back and re-listening to the clip because if you if you know anything about editing software like iMovie or Premiere Pro, like you can usually see the voice clip, right? And since what she's doing here is just mostly eliminating like dead space or like silence out of her clips, she could easily see from the audio portion of the clip where she wasn't talking and she could just go click, click, snip, out, put it together and be done so much quicker. But because she can't see where the audio stops by the way that iMovie works on her phone, she she can't do all that. It's so goofy. She's being so inefficient, so inefficient. It would not have to take her allegedly hours to do this if she would just like teach herself how to do it on her MacBook or her computer. And that's like such a metaphor for also literally everything in Amberlynn's life. She like always has to make things so much more complicated. She could have so much time for other activities. See, I'm gonna edit all this out, I can already tell. Okay. I got it. This is, this oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is also just so wild, like, that she's including this for our entertainment. Here's a boring scene of editing. <laughs> it sure is. Self aware leg strikes again. I already know. Okay, I'm going to edit this out. Okay. I got How long 
is this oh, clip? Oh, I think yeah. we... I do that with every clip. I think we got the point. I'm here editing, but it's so therapeutic. I love it. Y'all, I have like three oh, bags of my God. <laughs> that I don't know what to do with. I might honestly just give them to Goodwill. But I did have a moment where... Why would you have so many stickers? How would you even know what you have at this point? This is, these are just like gallon size Ziploc bags of stickers. What could you possibly need that many stickers for? <sighs> maybe, you know, honestly, maybe if it's just somebody whose only hobby or interest is collecting stickers, I got it. Because sometimes people are like, oh my God, Zach, don't come for me. I have that many stickers. Okay, but do you also have 1,200 journals, 500 different Lego sets, 20,000 purses, 15 million earrings? <laughs> like, no, you probably don't. This is so wild. I wanted to sell them online because, you know... <laughs> It obviously did cost me a pretty penny. Right. So if anyone's interested in these stickers, you can message me on Instagram. And if not, I will just give them to you. I'm shut. Hello, hello, hello. If somebody, if somebody does buy those, please share online. <laughs> just please, please let me know. I mean, I won't be doing it, but if you do, actually, maybe for your own anonymity, it's probably better to just not share that you did that. So last night I tried one of these Think Protein Bars, only 150 calories. This is in salted caramel. So good. So, so good. The texture reminded me of like this summer beach bar. The texture was exactly of this protein bar and I put it in the freezer. So I decided last time I had one to put it in the freezer so we could try it together the next day. Okay. So I have high, high hopes, but we'll see. Dentist, dentist, call 911. 911, call the dentist. Nope, that is like not the same texture at all. Or was it in the freezer for too long? You guys, this is an example of the way I edit. This is how I've always done it. But people thought I just spliced together a bunch of random clips. But now, as you can see, that is not true. I, 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 I. Listen, I haven't done this in a while, but y'all, we, we've gotta go. We've gotta go. I'm, I'm packing up. I'm packing up. I'm pa packing up. I am gonna die of embarrassment from the cringe if I don't get the fuck out of this room right now. I'm so sorry. Poe, you wanna come with? We're, we gotta go. Bye. All right, besties. I hope you enjoyed that bit because <laughs> is uh, the next few moments of the video are going to have my camera slightly out of focus because that's what happens when I get up and go out of frame. And I thought I had tried to fix the focus when I sat back down, but clearly didn't. But please stick through. It only lasts for a little bit. And later in the video, I have to once again adjust the focus because of Poe. So I hope you can forgive me. And I hope you all also laughed at the bit because otherwise it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. I'm willing to give it another go. But what is, what is, who, who got mad at her for editing recently? Who called her out for this? Why is she making such a big deal about editing? I think I've made it very clear in, in just this 15 days worth of uploading that I don't come here for the, the quality anymore. <laughs> well, I don't know that I ever really did. I do know in the past I've like given some criticism for how she edits and how she films and things like that. But, but my latest take and my newest feelings and opinions about all of that is like, I no longer expect a whole lot of anything when it comes to the quality of the way she produces her content. 
Uh, I do kind of expect stuff in terms of, like, the content itself, which is why I think I'll still continue giving criticisms when it feels boring. Okay? <laughs> but, but you know, when it comes to lighting, editing, angles of filming, this, that, the other, I, I don't... My expectations are so low. The bar is in fucking hell. Okay, <laughs> the bar is in hell. All right, I expect very little. Why is she going on? Who is she trying to convince about this editing? Like, <laughs> stop being so cringe challenge. Do that for 15 days. Try not to be cringe for 15 days. I think I'm losing my mind. Oh my God, this is gonna take too long to thaw. This was a flop. Not me holding it in my hand to like warm it up because we're not wasting this. We're gonna let it thaw. Well, gr girl, just leave it sitting on the counter then. Come back to it later. You don't have to jerk off the protein bar so that it's warm enough for you to eat. Jesus Christ. But this definitely ain't like the summer beach one. I don't even think they make the summer beach one anymore. The texture of it, once it's been in the freezer, you know what it is? I think I might have had this in the freezer for too long because it's been in there for like 24 hours. And normally with the summer beach ones, <sighs> it's just like an hour. So Girl, the we'll grip. See. Okay, guys, I think it's time. I think it is. is I it? mean, it's been like a good 20 minutes. All right. How is it? Now it's just thawed out. It's, it's <laughs> I did not go as planned. Don't put this in the freezer. Because now it tastes like she freaking seems... refrigerator. Like, what am I thinking over here? Is my dryer <laughs> she... right now? It tastes like refrigerator, like the, the lo mein from uh, Panda Express. <laughs> that was a lot of time to spend on that fucking protein bar. So you might hear that, but I'm feeling hungry. So hungry. I figured we could either the Southwest style cauliflower bite. Oh, let's go. Can you guys even see me? Yeah. I can. Sure I can, can see you just fine. Or some of the sweet chili cauliflower wings. Let's go. How do you even cook these? Look, and there's instructions for an air fryer. Girl, yeah. You, you know you're going to make them in the air fryer. Just make them in the air fryer, girl. It's right there. I've never seen that on a package before. That's probably because I just recently got an air fryer, and I never paid attention to that before, so now I notice it everywhere. Like, I noticed there's never a... Shh. It's just Noel. It's just Noel. We're filming. It's just Noel coming home. We're filming, bud. You got you to gotta be... You would gotta be ready to be on camera. I think I'm gonna sweet chili. Let's go. I think that is Let's what fucking go. This is what the package looks like. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm just gonna add them. It says it'll take about 16 minutes. Girl, if you don't, if you don't stop, if you don't stop opening up shit with with your teeth. She just literally was calling for a dentist earlier when she took a bite of that frozen ass protein bar. And now look at her over here opening up this bag with her teeth. Walk over to the kitchen counter or the kitchen island where I'm sure there's a pair of scissors. Grab them and open up this bag. I guess the sauce comes in a little pack like this. All right. Pour them all in there. Why the heck not? I'm gonna do it with the sauce packet though. Put it in warm water. Don't know what you did. Did it there. Your body lightweight. It speaks to me. Earworms. <laughs> I never actually like sing them. Earworms. Earworm alert. Earworm alert. We got the earworms. I'm in the right melody because that's just how I am. Waiting for this water to turn warm. I'm just gonna put it in here and put the little guy in there like so. I've actually done more packing today and uh, All I right. cried. <laughs> I did, because I was getting rid of, I don't really wanna say, because it's kind of TMI, but of, of course. it definitely brought up 
some memories for sure. There's there's something that happened off camera and it made me cry and I can't really bring it up, but I gotta cry about it and I gotta let you know that I cried or it didn't happen. I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff. All right, it's finally warm. So I'm gonna put it in the hot water. Well, not hot, but warm water. And just have it sit in this bowl. Alrighty, so there we go. Done. I will Let's say so myself. Go. I did have to add um, more hot water into that cup for the sauce, but. Those look those look good, I'm not gonna lie. I would fuck with these. I would eat these. I really would. That is totally fine. So, these are lightly breaded, which I did not know that until I read the package. I didn't notice it at the store, but that's fine. The sauce is like... <laughs> what? From the second she showed those when she, she got them and hauled them, I, I knew exactly that they were breaded. They're supposed to be like chicken wings, just not. It's supposed to be just cauliflower, breaded cauliflower wings. Girl, what? <laughs> you could see that from the picture of the package. Chunky, like, I don't think I like that very much. Okay, so I'm a texture girly, uh -huh. and I just do not like how this looks. Girl, you haven't even it just, tried it. It doesn't look like a normal sauce. It like looks like applesauce. Girl, you haven't even tried it. How do you know you don't like the texture? I, I get not probably wanting to douse your wings in it, but put it in a little dipping container. Dip, dip the cauliflower in it. Try it. If you don't like it, go pull out the ranch. <laughs> like, I don't understand. And I don't think I can do it. You should just try I it. I can't. I have weird things with food, and I know a lot of people like to be haters. And no, things. it's okay. It's okay. I, I get the texture thing. I get it. I don't, I have things that, like, texture-wise, I cannot eat. Like, I don't mind the flavor of mushroom, but the texture of mushrooms grosses me out. I get it. I get it. But you're not even trying it. You're basing your texture issues off of you feeling the package. Because <laughs> I'm fat, I can't be picky, but I really, truly am. No, so I, I don't. Try it listen, time. I know all kinds of picky fat people. I was one of them growing up. I've gotten less picky. <laughs> I've gotten less picky. It's, it's nothing to do with that. Ranch. Let's also try it with some sriracha. We can even get a little crazy. Try no. Some mustard. <laughs> no. Fly, but here's some soy sauce. <gasps> too. No. Long era. Just kidding. Okay, so here are the colors. Oh, we're just Let's kidding. Let's try a little. Oh, we're just kidding about our mukbang era. Okay. Nibble without anything on here. It smells like braided cauliflower. It's exactly what you'd expect. Wait, what? If you're a vegetarian. Her just acting so damn surprised every time she takes a bite of anything slays me. Maybe even possibly vegan. I think these are vegan. Run. Run. Run to the store. Run. In replace for chicken. This would be good like Parmesan chicken. Like, oh my God, this slaps. Okay. And that's just like by itself. Get that ranch, girl. Let's try a little... Get that ranch. Too much there. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's bomb. Let's do some sriracha. Wait, did I just find my new favorite thing? A little dabble of that. A little dabble, do ya? Your body lightweight speaks to me. If you guys know that song by Chris Brown, yeah. Okay. Time for the no, good old to mustard Brown. talk. I don't watch mustard TikTok anymore. I just like am obsessed with it still regardless. Like I still eat that. So good. Wait, I think I'm in love. <sighs> Girl, what am I doing with soy sauce? I don't like, know. What am I doing? What what are you doing with soy sauce? <laughs> I, I always just, I get, uh, her, the way she uses soy sauce sometimes, 
But here we are. I guess when I thought of uh, sriracha, I also thought of soy sauce. Like what? <laughs> We we will okay. we will fully dump soy sauce on these cauliflower wings, but we won't give the sauce that these things came with a chance at all whatsoever. Cool. It's on me all over. Don't. Girl, yeah, that's not how you're supposed to use soy sauce. That's so gonna be so salty. I'm yeah. sure. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. But wow, I'm actually shocked this is so good mm, mm, mm. excuse me <laughs> excuse me if you're chantal marie chantal show foodie beauty flabby bobby big beautiful me whoever whatever you'd have to delete the video because did y'all know that <laughs> did y'all that she posted a mukbang the other day and at the very end of it she let out a big old to a big old juicy fart <laughs> And she apparently, allegedly, didn't realize she left that in, and so she had to delete the whole video because there was a big old juicy fart at the, <laughs> at the end of it. Farts, like, farts can be funny. I, I sometimes I do think fart, fart humor is funny. I'll laugh with you. Look at that little fart joke from the yellow mustard. Literally just cauliflower, chilling all up in there. Oh my god, it's so good. You got some diet Pepsi. I don't know if I prefer the mustard or the ranch. I can't decide. Ranch. Please let it be ranch. Let ranch be the winner. Again. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in heaven. Although breaded is not good for you. Brandon oh, is not good for you. Y'all remember that kid? <laughs> I think he was on an episode of Wife Swap. The way she just made our... The way she just said that made me think of him because he's like, chicken nuggets is good for you. <laughs> chicken nuggets is my family. It's so much better for you than like... Oh, I love McDonald's right now. Look. Right now? It's just not... Just right now? I don't know. It would make me feel worse than eating this. But yeah, I go through like hardcore food fixations. Like... This isn't even, like, about this, me being fat. This really is her mukbang era at this point. She, <laughs> this started out as a joke, but we're we're getting way more than we normally get because normally she just gives us a couple bites and a, mm, 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 so good. And we're getting multiple, multiple cauliflower wing bites here. Whatever. Like, I really am a picky eater. That's something that Feline always says about me. I'm, like, the pickiest eater she's ever known. Um, I get these like food fixations where I try something mm -hmm. and I like it so much that I just like eat it every single day. That's not surprising to me. It happens to the best of us. That's not surprising to me because you, it's not just about food. You get fixations on everything. You get fixations on these wannabe Legos and you have now like 40 different wannabe Lego sets. You get fixations on notebooks and you have... A, a ton of notebooks that you've literally been holding on for years. You get fixations clearly on those stickers earlier in this video, and now you have three Ziploc gallon-sized bags full of stickers that you're not going to do anything with. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm not surprised that you get fixated on specific foods and just go ham and, and only eat those foods for a while. And these might be something that I add to the mix here. Maybe. Oh my god. Mustard, can you just do your job, please? You have one job. And it got all over my freaking arm. Whatever. I'm just gonna put it on my plate. Oh, what? And dip it. What? <laughs> what a concept to just add it to your plate. <laughs> wow, it's almost like you could have been doing that this whole time. Your body is lightweight. I cannot believe there's only one more day. I can. Of I, 15 days. I can and I can't wait for it to be, I can't wait for That's it to wild. be done. These 15 days went by so fast. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Dipped in freaking 
Mustard, it tastes like a corn dog. Oh, I do love a corn dog. I want a corn dog so bad. Wait, now I want some like turkey kielbasa with this. Oh my god. No. <laughs> the 15 days just has gone by so fast that it's just like, man, what? Like it was just day two. Like, how was it 14 already? And here we go. Thanks for watching. She's been kind of bad at the, the outros, and this time she didn't even edit an outro in. <laughs> she didn't even edit the outro into it today. What a fascinating video. And by that, I mean there are definitely parts of it that were not fascinating whatsoever. But, um, well, here we are. <laughs> here we are, besties. Here we are. That's all I have time for today. I gotta edit this video because I'm gonna go to Lollapalooza today and see my girl's new jeans. Can't wait. And, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm just gonna wrap it up. But thank you all so, so much for being here today. I appreciate it so much. And if you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!